Hello friends. Of course, the minute I hit record, I couldn't think of the word, there's a truck backing up outside. I don't know if you could hear it. It's me and my little co-star. Say hello. Say hello. He's just able to sit into this into this. <laughs> He's just able to sit in this little chair that one of you guys sent me and love, love, love it. So he goes back and forth between this, the exosaucer that used to sit over there in the corner. It's out obviously in, or not so obviously, but in the other room where I work because mama went back to work from home and I need to entertain him while mom meetings. I've had a lot of meetings the past two weeks and Adam and I are kind of sharing the responsibilities since he's been home, but he has a lot of meetings out of the house recently. So little man needs to be entertained between the swing, the exer, not the extra saucer, but it's like the baby Einstein activity center. I'll put a link or a picture or something. And this other little activity play mat, it's been great. I decided that we are going to do a what's in oh, my thousand pound diaper bag video. I did do a what's in my hospital bag video for labor and delivery. It was really long. It was hysterical because you guys were like, girl, you are never going to use all of that. And I pared it down to a little, little carry-on that you use for like traveling on an airplane. And it was still a lot. And I used barely any of it. So I did do a reacting to that video where it was what I actually used in my hospital bag. But the SD card that I used was the one that I plugged into. Plugged into? Do you say you plugged an SD card into your computer? What do you do? What do you do, Siege? Co-star, help mama out. I put it in the computer, my old computer, and that's when my whole computer died. I got the blue screen of death. It went black. I couldn't turn it back on. I tried everything. And then I used that SD card. I took it out of the computer. I put it in the other computer and it was corrupt. I cannot have tried a million times. I Googled it. Regardless, I'm going to have to refilm that video, which is fine because it was like mom brain. I just felt off. I don't know if you guys understand, but you know, if you just feel off on like a video. On bless you. Bless you. You just stopped mommy from babbling. Yay. Yay. I just felt off on that video. So we'll redo it. Anyway, this is kind of an updated new mom version where it's what's in my diaper bag. So I started out by using the half diaper bag. I love, love, love this diaper bag. I think it's so pretty. It's got backpack straps on it. It, you can't really see it over my pants. It came with its own strap, but I added this designer inspired strap that I will post a link to it below if I can still find it. I got it from Amazon real cheap. I think it was $12. I just think it kind of takes it up a notch. It does have this little pocket on the inside. It has this. I added this little changing mat and there, oh my goodness, there are diapers in there. I didn't know if they were still newborns or not. They're size one that he wears right now because I changed. So, and I have the little bulb that they give you from the hospital in case I was so scared because they told me, well, if he starts choking and turning purple, you're going to have to use this to clear his throat. I never needed, thank God. I never needed it, but I always traveled with it because it scared the crap out of me. And then <laughs> butt paste spatula that I never used because we haven't experienced diaper rash yet. I guess it's coming when he starts eating real food, but oh, and a little passy holder and clip that I need to send to my sisters because CJ never took a pacifier. Even though you always see him with his little wub and nub draft. Where is it? I don't know. Every picture, if you look on my Instagram, where he's in his car seat, he has his little draft. He doesn't use the pacifier part of it. He literally will suck on the drafts like arms or legs or tail. I guess that feels more like a breast nipple. I don't know. Anyway, so he doesn't use that. And I have a maxi pad in there for when I was still bleeding immediately after birth, but it's really pretty. I use this if, you know, we're going out or something and I don't need that much stuff or I want to look a little bit nicer because I just think this is a really pretty diaper bag. It's an expensive diaper bag. So I got it off of eBay used. I could do a whole review on it. Love it too. Oh, and this I got for my registry for my one of you loves that I throw in there to do diaper changes. It does have side pockets that I always throw like my keys in so they're easy to get to. A, a lip gloss and a pen because you always need that. And this back pocket, I was keeping masks in here. See, I was wondering where that went. My reusable ma mask, tissues, napkins that I stole from someplace, masks, those kinds of things. Because you always need a napkin gum, receipts, 
Lord Almighty, Roseanne, get your life together and clean out your bags. Do you guys do that? Like I have purses in my closet with random stuff that I haven't cleaned out. But this is the diaper bag that we have been using. I was gifted this by our friend Justin. And then our friend Joel sent the exact same one in a different color. So I have a backup, which is great because this has been great. I always use it on my hikes and everything like that. You love it. He's cheering for it. Do you have hair on you? The postpartum hair loss has started and let me tell you, it is real. This is the front pocket, which is awesome because it's insulated. So I'll throw an ice pack in there and bottles, either I'll make a bottle before we leave the house. I have spares because I've been stuck without bottles very often. I do use formula sometimes. It, just my life. I don't make enough, enough breast milk. I cried about it. It is what it is. I'm over it. It's fine. So I have backups in there. Two backups. I can tell I'm scarred. Usually I will keep a bottle with formula already mixed if I know he's going to be eating it. And then I will keep one of these open with an empty bottle and a top like this if I'm out long enough that I need to pump. And then again, ice packs go in here and it's insulated to stay cold. What's up? What's up, love fuck? What's up, love fuck? Do you think we're going somewhere? Because we are in a minute. Mommy's still in her pajamas, though. Okay, what's on the side? I keep chapstick. There's a hole there. So usually I'll keep a water bottle or something in there. And then, like, my car keys will go in the one without the hole. What's in here right now? Junk. Get your life together, girl. Stevia. Another lip gloss. A chapstick. And a shopping list. Hey. Oh, and sanitizer wipes nice good job you're a mess then you open this thing up there's two zippers the gold zipper is where all of my stuff is and the black zipper is really cool that opens up into its own changing station slash like a place for the baby to nap it's almost like a little bassinet for if you're out and about for a long time and the baby falls asleep there's this little front pocket with like the name of the brand and for some reason i stuck a stevia in there i don't know why that's the inside of my bag. You could see <laughs> I have spare clothes. Adam was like, wow, you remembered spare clothes? I always have spare clothes. Usually I'll keep like a onesie, pants, socks, a bib sometimes. I think there was a bib in here because he's going through that drooling phase. And anything else? I think that's it. Sometimes I even have two outfits with me. This is a little burp cloth because we're going through the spitting and also the spitting up phase. In the side pocket, I have a bottle of water if I need to mix formula. That's actually open, so I'm gonna replace that with an unopened one just because of bacteria. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little pockets on the inside. I love this bag because there's a gajillion pockets. Oh, look, another little bulb that I don't, I've never used. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I've used it in the house. I've never used it out, but I know that moms, like when I was a baby, they use this for the nose, but I have the Freedom Mom nose sucker that I love, so. There's a backup, a receiving blanket. These things are amazing. I use them for everything. I use them to lay down if I need to change his diaper. You okay? And I don't have another one of those pads in the car with me because sometimes I'll do it in the trunk if we finish hiking. Yeah. Speaking of, this is, that was the best part I was saying. Get back in there. This is the little pad that turns into a bassinet slash changing table thing on the other side that I'll show you in a minute if I can figure out how to put it together and take it apart because Adam did it last time. This is so cool. This is a nursing cover. It could be worn as a scarf. It could just stay on you. And then you put it on like this, you lift up your shirt underneath and voila, you feed your baby while you're covered. I keep it in there because there were a couple times that I was stuck at a restaurant with no bottles and he was screaming, my heart was broken. So I leave that in there and I use that since. Speaking of that though, I will never run out of formula again because not only do I keep those bottles and water, I keep this unopened can of formula. This isn't the kind that he takes. He takes Similac Organic. It's what the first pediatrician gave us. It was organic, so I felt better about it. He handles it perfectly fine. So I haven't switched since. But then when I switched the pediatrician, cause that guy was a jerk. He was the one that told me I'm so old. If I got milk, which I probably won't cause I'm too old, it will come in sour because I'm old. Like I think he was trying to make a joke, but that's insulting and not even funny. 
moving along, but I went to a new pediatrician who I absolutely love. He's the cutest. He's, I could say cute because he's like four days out of medical school, but I still loved him. And he asked me what kind of formula I took. I said Similac Organic. He gave me this Similac Total Comfort, not organic, but that's okay. It's just there for backup. It's not even open yet, but it's in the diaper bag because I'm scarred by those couple of times that I had nothing and he broke my heart. In this other side pocket, of course, most important, I have a package of wipes. When I was little, my mom used to call these wipes. And I called them wipes all through like my babysitting years. I just started calling them wipes a couple years ago. But Adam laughs at me because I just add a Y at the end of anything to, as a descriptor word. So like this coleslaw is really mayo-y. Those houses are cute, but they're one floor. So they're really ranchy. I'm so late because it was really trafficy. Somebody please in the comments, tell me if you're with me because he thinks it's crazy. And I'm like, it just is what it is. Do you care? Probably not. Anyway, I have four diapers. I don't think I've ever changed his diaper four times in the couple of hours we've been out at a time, but I do have four in there. <laughs> I always replace them when I use them. There's another little slit side pocket in there, a small one, just like you have in the side of a purse. So in there, I keep, my keys are in there right now and a pack of gum, which actually I switched. This is old. I keep this there. Adam will chew this. I try not to chew the mint anymore. I had cinnamon gum in there for a while because mint, spearmint, peppermint actually decreases your milk supply, which I didn't know until I read that. And then my sister was also having issues with her milk supply. And I was like, I'm just going to tell you everything I know. And I texted her, texted her, texted her. And then it dawned on me after like, I don't know, 15 texts. I was like, oh, and by the way, if you're using anything mint, stay away from it. Like I only will use mint to brush my teeth and an occasional piece of gum every, every, every once in a while. She's like, oh my God, I've been putting mint leaves in my water every single day because I have a plant. I was like, that's perfect because now you know the problem and as soon as you stop it, you come back. Your milk should come back in a couple days. So if you're a new mom, I don't know that like a piece of mint gum is gonna tremendously have an issue, but if you're already working against an issue, it's just something that I read. Well, you'll see like fenugreek and mint tea. Fenugreek for me, tanked my supply. It's like 50, 50. Some people it dramatically increases it. Some people it dramatically decreases it for me, it decreases. But if you have a good supply and you start drinking that tea with fenugreek, I want to say fenugreek and fennel, which is great. Fennel's great. It's working for me, but I meant fenugreek and mint. You might start seeing a decrease in your supply, not from the fenugreek, but from the fennel, uh, from the mint, Woo! which is crazy because fennel is kind of minty, but Okay, tangent. So last thing I have in here that I added, people are gonna make fun of me and I don't really care, but I saw this girl that my good friend Sarah follows on Instagram for fitness stuff. She had her baby in a restaurant and it, the restaurant was really loud and she had a picture of her with these baby noise canceling headphones on and I forgot about them. This was years ago, like years before Adam even was home. I had a chance to have a baby. But then one morning I was using the blender because I've been making myself uh, a protein pancake every morning with all kinds of breastfeeding helpful ingredients. It's the way that I can mask the flavor of some of the stuff like the brewer's yeast, like some of the stuff that's like kind of gross tasting. And the baby was sitting in this chair actually on the floor next to the table and he jumped and I, his eyes got huge. I didn't realize how loud that blender was for him. And then another time we were trying to get into a restaurant and the music was so loud, like literally club loud. When you leave a club, when you're in your twenties or thirties or whenever you go to a club, I don't know, but I would be in my twenties and thirties and like the rest of the night in bed, your ears would like vibrate and ring. I don't want his ears to be exposed to that. Adam kind of was like, you're being a little bit much, but I don't know how much his little tiny ears can handle. So I bought these on Amazon. I will link them below. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? And he looks like my cute little pilot. Is he not the cutest little thing? And he has no problem with them. They help so much. I always keep them in the diaper bag because every place you go in Las Vegas has music and it's loud. These have helped ever since. You wanna put them on again? Tell me that's not the cutest. Is that not the cutest? Me and Captain CJ are off. He's gonna fly me on our private jet to, just kidding. So that's what's in my diaper bag. This one is a thousand pounds. So when my aunt was here visiting, she's like, listen, 
leave this in the car, take what you need, take a diaper, take the wipes, throw them in your purse and leave the rest of that in your car. You could always go back to the car and get it, but you're going to break your back if you continue to use that. So that was a good tip that I've done. And plus I can use my, some of my Q purses. I'm a Jersey girl. They're all the size of suitcases. Anyway, if I can make any suggestion for you, it was a suggestion that I got that I passed along to my sisters, to all new moms. And it really, really helped is go for the backpacks. Even this smaller one, go for the backpack as far as a diaper bag, because the one shoulder ones, as cute as they are, you're trying to hold baby, they're falling off, they get stuck here. It's a lot while you have to push a stroller, pick up a baby, put them in the stroller, whatever it is, it's a lot. So having it hands-free on your back is when it's total win-win they make the cutest ones now you can accessorize them a little bit more this one even came with one of those little fur balls that attaches to purses that were popular a few years back it comes with it if you buy it <laughs> do you want these off <laughs> when you buy it from the brand itself i bought mine used so it didn't come with it I don't care. I wound up getting the little Gucci inspired strap instead. So if you guys want to see anything, requests, dedications. I said that to Adam's cousin one time and he was like, oh my God, roller rink seventh grade. But requests, anything else, leave it in the comments. I love you guys so much. Give us a like. It just helps us out so much. Subscribe if you want more. Look back on the channel for other videos and we will see you in the next one. Say bye. And let me know in the comments if you want me to refilm that what I used in my diaper bag video. It's probably more comedy than anything else because your girl went nuts. All right, love you guys. Mwah.